I'm Amy Marks, and I'm the head of industrialized construction strategy and evangelism at Autodesk, also known as the queen of prefab. I'm going around the world to some of the coolest factories, and I'm meeting with owners, designers, builders, and manufacturers to get a behind the scenes look at what goes into fabricating the future. Join me, the queen of prefab. Amy, you're the queen of prefab. You've got a great team beside you. Get out there and get this done. I don't know about you, but I clearly heard Jim Lynch say, Amy Marks, take this revolution on the road. Now that Jim gave us the go-ahead that we can take this industrialized revolution on the road, I got a call from Karen that my friends at EAS in North Carolina are gonna let us into their manufacturing facilities. They have an amazing place. I'm so excited to see this manufacturing facility. My friends at EAS are some of the world leaders in doing multi-trade complex assemblies. They do central utility plants, central energy plants, large data centers. What they do is really special. This is not like putting a bunch of subcontractors in a shed or a warehouse. This is truly industrialized construction and we're seeing manufacturing at its finest. Hey, Amy, the queen of prefab. <laughs> Welcome to Environmental Air Systems. Hey, Bill, thanks so much for having me here again. We're glad to host you. We got a lot of excellent prefabrication to show you. So let's go take a look. I love it. I love good prefab. Bill, tell me about this. Amy, this is our visual management system that we use on the floor. This gives the guys a visual cue as to what uh, stage each, each process is in the project. It also gives them a cue of what's coming next. We use tack times in our manufacturing processes to make sure that you know, every two and a half hours some activity happens in the plant that will change and this gives the guys a cue of what's coming up next. In addition to this, we use VIM 360 to give the guys a visual of the model. So they have a, a the, basically the model that we generate in Revit in BIM 360 on an iPad that they can surf through, you know, find clashes if there are any, and do uh, coordination. So here we are in a project. This, this project came to us as a concept and some high-level programming for capacities in mid-April, and now here we are about to ship it in the first week of September. Our ability to do rapid response in a project like this is matched by no other. I think a project like this would take around six months to do conventionally, even with all of the, the methods that are used in construction to streamline a construction project. Did you know that two thirds of all general contractors have experience with multi-trade assemblies and three quarters of all the MEP trade contractors also have experience with multi-trade assemblies? They're not necessarily manufacturing them like EAS, but this is not something that's happening in the future. This is happening now. It is truly a standard in the ecosystem that we have multi-trade assemblies being incorporated into projects with complex, heavy MEP. This is right now. The part that makes EAS so special is their culture. And that's why I love seeing those visual monitors at every station where you can see the assemblies actually moving, making sure that they have flow, understanding the tack time, and their training board. Making sure that all their new employees have a buddy system and they're getting checked out on all these processes and procedures that make them truly a manufacturer. So we are seeing a real convergence of construction and manufacturing right before our eyes here. And they're doing it and they're doing it well. All the talk about machine learning, AI, DFMA, prefabrication, nothing beats face-to-face -face communication. I feel so excited about everything we've seen on this trip. I can't wait to go on the next one. We're gonna have to go somewhere fantastic to beat these facilities. That's okay, I know they're out there. And with what I've seen over the last few weeks, 
I know that we can really make transformational change with some technology, collaboration, people, DFMA, prefabrication in this industrialized revolution. So I hope you'll continue to join me and I'll see you next time with the queen of prefab. <laughs>